Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. We're trying to do the legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing Challenge, where we're trying to uh, speedrun the game and beat it in four and a half months on the very highest difficulty. Normally that's done on Commander difficulty, but as you know by now, we're not a Commander type of channel. We're also a Commander type of channel, but I just prefer playing Legendary, and in this case Iron Man plus some... Um, uh, permanent dark events. Anyways, uh, long-winded long uh, intro as per the usual. We're in the mid of uh, midst of June, so it's one more month until we are uh, going to lose this challenge, and we're up for a mission to get an engineer, which is okay. We don't necessarily need one. I would rather prefer a scientist at this point. Uh, around uh, 78 intel, which is great, and a specialist, uh, which is actually quite useful because um, that was the one class that we're missing so far. Haywire, for some reason, had been out of service for a long ass period. Good, let me just uh, put together a team, but before I do so, we're taking a look at the roster, um, and then we can see whom we're actually taking with us. You can see the only one who's available is Magic Man. Um, as a specialist, everyone else from the high-level uh, characters is unavailable. So we're taking Spitfire and Magic Man, kind of the higher-level characters. And the rest needs to be filled up with squaddies, really. One Ranger, um, Quick Feet, uh, finally gets back into the action. We're going to see some Mike Bravo action here as well. And given that we already have two uh, Grenadiers, I am probably thinking about going with a second Sharpshooter. Now, I'll equip everyone and color code them because Quick Feet clearly has the wrong color coding and then we're go going to give it a go. Alright, here we go. That took a little bit longer than expected, so... Um, our sniper quick feed is going to take uh, the ammunition. I am still thinking about, you know what? Probably now that we do have the second um, experimental grenade, we're not going uh, to go with another ammunition. We're rather taking the mimic beacon. I wish we had some more uh, capacity and um, had uh, armor upgrades, but that's not possible at the moment. So we're going in with two Mimic Beacons, a lot of grenades, and basically um, incendiary rounds. And we're only fighting against loss, so technically that should not be a problem. Let's see how well we're going to do. All right, we landed. I got myself a fresh cup of tea. Nothing like a really good, well-made white tea. Um, so that was awesome. And we're ready to kick some alien butt. So this is straightforward. Uh, we do have potentially an additional soldier over here. The good part about having revival protocol is, many people don't know that, but you can essentially revive him without even going close. I know, it's a bit cheesy, but it's great to know when you really, really need help. So in terms of snipers, one of the things that they absolutely fantastically excel with, uh, excel at, is using high ground to their advantage. Putting one sniper there and another sniper for the time being in the midst of the road. Might as well trigger a couple of losts. Yep. That's why you take those long movements first. So, in case uh, they are coming. You can still deal with them. Alright, moving up. There you go. Nice little headshot. And pretty solid damage. That's good. I love it. Alright. Mike moves up. This is a 100% kill. Very nice, Mike. Good job. Alright. 
Good. So much for the loss. And I don't want to take that last step. Um, that's a typical trap. You don't want to move further than your furthest um, operative. That's a nice group of loss. We don't have the between the eye um, resistance um, order. Elsewise, this here would be a walk in the park. Some of them are actually quite strong. Good, let's see. So... That's a nice little hit. We're getting even some extra um, ability points just for using that high ground. Moving up. Found ourselves another group of loss. We already know there are about 20 of them here. So really no need to get uh, to be surprised about them now uh, coming in and kind of swarming us. Uh, the important part is, as always, kill the ones with the uh, high amount of hit points first. Good. Then kill the ones that are a bit further away. Very nice. Good job. Then it's time for some reloading. And now we're just using our handgun. Keep it going. Well, 90% shot just missed. That is very unlucky. We need to slowly but surely advance, so can't just sit here and wait. Taking the ones out that are closest to us uh, will maximize our chance that they won't even reach us this turn. Keeping a tight formation and just really, really looking uh, to not expend too much ammunition. There we go. Okay. Moving up. And let's see if we can get those guys down. Well, almost. So we know it's only loss, uh, which means technically the whole cover thing doesn't really matter that much. That's a hundred percent kill. Target neutralized. On reserve. That's a very nice uh, kill as well. Good job. Reloading and overwatching from my, the public. Oh, look at that. Well, some more uh, loss are just about to start pouring in. Good, they are coming closer, which is totally fine. Uh, let's make sure who should get the kills. Probably Magic Man, as much as possible, of course, because we want to level him. That's one down. That was unfortunately a 90% short miss, but that can always happen. It is what it is. Enemy down. 
Nice one. Good job, quick feet. Gotta preserve some ammunition down here. Very nice. Good. So let's continue our avalanche towards uh, the position. We're still quite a bit away. Moving in the hopes of maybe triggering another pack. Didn't work. So that means all of this here is moderately safe. And our sniper takes the next high ground over here. Whilst quick feet is taking some quick feats in order to move there. Good, we got two high grounds. Pretty solidly covered at this point. Oh, we are already moving. It's see, that's why many people hate Bradford. It's not necessarily that he's saying something that's per se wrong. He's actually quite by the book. The problem is he's often stating the obvious, and he kind of uh, makes it sound um, as if you're not doing what he's uh, trying to tell you. Like, who would not move forward here? Beat, beat. All right. We're going in with uh, some reloading. Like I said, ammunition management is probably one of the single most important topics. Alright, we're getting to their position. Not necessarily on the double, but we're getting to their position, don't worry. Alright, that's a nasty fella. Moving up, and we are going to Overwatch, Overwatch, can't see him unfortunately, Overwatch, Overwatch, and let's just stay over here so he definitely can't reach us. Nice little swarm appears. Yeah, for once our aim uh, is actually quite accurate. Look at that, who's crawling out of their little holes. Basically all of them started to appear at the same time. Okay. <laughs> well, well, well. That's not a kill. That here, however, would be a kill. Again, taking the high hit point targets first. Second 
Let's try this one here. Very nice. Good, we'll keep him uh, for a second. All right, following up with four hit point targets. Since uh, the sniper deals four to six. Yeah, that's not a given. That one here is likely to die. Very nice. And that one here is likely to die as well. All right, that was some pretty solid shooting. We got a Mimic Beacon in reserve if needed. Hmm, still can't revive a protocol, which is odd. Uh, that was bad, but at some point it needed to happen that we're essentially missing someone. Alright, Mike is taking the high ground here, so that none of these jokers can reach him. This actually could be a thing. Alternatively, he could hit all three of them, injuring two, well, killing one and injuring two pretty fatally. I think that is what we're going to do. It will also cause them to spawn a bit quicker the next time. But before we do that, uh, let's start with just 100% killing this guy. Could use some ammo. And 100% killing this guy. Next turn he needs to reload. Instead of reloading now, we're going to take that grenade. Very nice, so that's one more down. Mike is safe up there. Got to be careful not to get another swarm going. All right, he will die. That's a hundred percent kill. Moving into the zone to rescue the VIP. The VIP is secure, Commander. If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as well. Oh, we're definitely uh, wanting to have the escort. Ah, uh, that's an unfortunate miss. Should have probably shot the uh, the chosen uh, the lost with uh, two hit points first. Affirmative. Covering nine. Lucas runs out. That's fine. Could use some high ground, to be honest.
But I do have an idea how we're how we can deal with the situation. So let's get this one down. And let's just deploy a mimic beacon. I'm not sure. Do loss react to mimic beacons? I think they do. If not, we're only getting uh, hit once, so we should be fine. correct that uh, we're getting hit a couple more times that's interesting all right there's the revival protocol I was talking about Good. Quick feed cannot reach anyone. That's unfortunate. Katya, on the other hand, here can kill a couple of higher hit point targets. That one would be a nice kill. <laughs> nice, an execution. She's hitting quite well. Yeah, that one here is probably not going to be a kill, but we can still injure it. Well, never say never, I suppose. Good. Both of the snipers are indeed done with their good deeds. Time to slowly but surely cover the retreat. First and foremost, we're going to get rid of the ones uh, that definitely will die. That's well done. Mike Bravo did a pretty damn good job there. The VIP is simply running. Alright, that's one down. The new guy seems to be quite a whiz with his weapon. I love it. Spitfire moves back and I would propose she reloads. And whilst we're at it, let's just give her a healing. Overwatch, Overwatch. Out. You know what? 60% I'll take it. It's better than the potential Overwatch shot. And we're just reloading. couple of dashers on a moving in.
Time to show them what we think about dashers, which is shotgun to the face. Magic man moves back, we're reloading. Or a sniper is even capable of hitting something here? Probably not, because not many enemies can be seen, right? Okay. Mike just sprints into uh, the direction of the exit. I think at this point we can safely assume, assume that everyone can start just rushing towards the exit. All right. It's quite a sw uh, swarm building up. Let's see if we can kill one or two more. God damn, Kath uh, Kathleen Donaldson hits uh, incredibly well. She's having none of that. It's just hit after hit after hit after hit. The VIP escapes, which means we get the intel and we get a nice little uh, engineer, plus the mission is successful. And next turn, everyone can simply get out of here, which is great. Dozens and dozens and dozens of losses are now coming, which was to be expected. Menace one five. Keep pushing towards the evac point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. Which is fine, Bradford, but please. No longer a threat. Oh yeah. Let me just kill a few of them. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Nothing more that we can do here. And last but certainly not least, Magic Man. Good. Maybe we even got a promotion out of it. It was an almost flawless mission. Plus, we got an, a new XCOM operative, which is fantastic. Oh, before I forget it, we killed 44, um, which was quite good. All right, there we go. We landed. Well, look at that. Quick feet got a promotion. I think they all deserved one. Not that it mattered, but guys, uh, you did a fantastic job. I wish I could keep uh, more of you, mainly for the uh, bigger missions, but it is what it is and it's okay. Got a specialist, got an engineer, got intel, that's all we were looking for. With that extra specialist, we could speed up the proving grounds, I suppose. 
got enough context, so that's fine. Uh, technically, you could go for an excavation, but that'll be 90 days, and even if you get it down, it's 30 days. So we're already over that point, um, meaning we can put uh, him here. And that means we can maybe even get some value out of uh, the proving ground. Got ourselves a vapor here. And we're of course going to promote as a medical specialist. Good job, buddy. And welcome to the team. Good, we got another specialist with him, that's fine, I like it. We'll give us some more flexibility. And as long as they do have revival protocol, they are already useful by themselves. I wish we could scan, but like I said, we're in a race against the time. No more scanning anything other than the main objectives. There we go. So we got two promotions out of it. Cool. Love it. And for our extra options here, oh, health plus one, that's good for 10 days. Maybe a bit on the high side, but I like the will recovery. Uh, that would help us um, for shorter uh, times of being tired. Got another promotion here for seven days, probably. Um, probably what we're looking for. Solo soldier. Hmm. hmm. Could use that uh, range uh, that specialist and essentially get him up to a lieutenant. It would completely um, overtake Hayward, but it uh, might be an option. I like the promotion here. Uh, Fifteen ability points are okay. Engineer, mm, yeah, fine. Promotion of that. Oh, and we're sabotaging the uh, attack on the Avenger. That's not bad. So who should get the promotion is the big question. We got ourselves um, a ranger, a reaper, sharpshooter. Definitely need another specialist. Uh, Vapor would take super long in order to get there. So him plus maybe mystic here. Let's shortly level up. Uh, we're going with Bladestorm just because it is so useful in order to position themselves besides another uh, enemy and get that extra attack off. Love it. Really good. 17 days is close uh, to not being usable for some of the key missions though. Um, on the other hand, Mystic here got face off. That's not a huge, uh, huge ability. Perry is good. Like it. Hmm. Yeah, he's probably not getting another promotion right away. That's unlikely, to be honest. So really, we're going to take Vapor. And... Let's go with Mystic. You never know. Ah, but 25 Intel. We can't afford that. 
I need the intel in order to get alien alloys, and I need the alien alloys in order to get armor. So, well, that's a no starter. Can't afford the scientist either, which means there's a low chance for an ambush. And if he gets ambushed, then that is bad luck. Um, I would have an idea how we're dealing with a potential ambush, though. Yeah, we're, we'll just gotta, we'll just gotta risk it. The promotion is important. I did not receive the covert actions that we actually wanted. Very, very unfortunate. Got a spider suit instead. That, however, is pretty good. And we'll get another experimental ammunition. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Research labs were damaged. Our oh, fuck it. Our oh, uh, research had been delayed by seven days. That was exactly what we're trying to uh, to prevent. Oh, gosh. Okay, so how bad is it uh, looking? Oh, magnetic weapons. Yeah, Pfft, never mind. I thought uh, uh, she was targeting the shadow chamber. Yeah, the magnetic weapons. Okay, so I already assumed we wouldn't have magnetic weapons. No big deal. Got another specialist. So last rookie trained to become a specialist. Good. Use the school jack on a codex is exactly what we need to do now. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Which means no more research that we need to do here. Work is well underway, Commander. Magnetic weapons are important, but seeing that uh, they take so long, is there anything else that we maybe want to do beforehand? Mind shields could be helpful. Yeah, let's put them in. I was never... I'll ensure that this new project takes highest priority, Commander. Once we have something... Wish we could uh, do something to speed up making uh, making contact, but uh, that can only happen if you have a breakthrough. So it's actually helpful. We're still trying to make uh, contact as fast as possible. So it is actually helpful that we're researching faster, higher chance of breakthroughs, or get a mission where we will get uh, a faster scanning. Either of those uh, are our only hopes at this point, because the resistance order to make in, uh, immediate contact is no longer available. We've tried that. And unless the next supply drop like yields that, um, we're not going to uh, see that in this run. We've located the Elder's Hunter, actively working in this region, Commander. Well, great. Um, that here would be... Yeah, that would still be the Hunter uh, working in here. Fair enough. Okay, um... Bonus. Integrated warfare. PCS effects increase. Not uh, good. Experimental ammo um, is provided instantly. All weapon modifications is increased. Research breakthroughs are twice as likely to occur. This is pretty damn good um, uh, for what we're trying to do, but once we have the uh, continental bonus here we don't need breakthroughs anymore and we don't know any of the bonuses uh, there okay so what do we have we got supplies and a hidden event 
not necessarily needed. Intel and extra ammunition, that's probably what we're going to go for. Having that extra intel. Yeah, we do have a sergeant, so it's probably going to be yet another get some more intel mission. Which is really the best that we can do at this point. Once we do have that extra intel, I can... You know what? We're purchasing it now. Then we do have the armor upgrade and then we go into the mission because the extra into um, will allow us to fund the extra alien alloys here. Purchase this. And none of that is relevant. Superior conditioning is nice. Superior conditioning is nice. How much intel do we get? 90, yeah, we can't afford that, unfortunately. We were just short. Hmm. Yeah, three hit points. Very good. Uh, we probably need a bit more supplies. I think the armor upgrade costed um, 300. Are we going to give them clip size increased by two? Probably. Normally I definitely would not sell it, but for now it's fine. Because we're not going to use it either way, so don't be too afraid uh, of just selling it. Superior scope is absolutely fantastic. Not going to sell that. But probably also not going to use it, funnily enough, at this point. Um, Berserk Corpse, Faces Corpse will stay with us. 61. The Facility Lead, we don't need it. And whatever is not absolutely needed can be sold. We don't have intel for that at the moment, so we're not going to do it. This uh, brings us to the option to finally upgrade the armor, right? Yeah, Predator Squad, Predator Armor Squad upgrade. Very nice. Don't have enough alloys for the gauntlets. Good. So we have to do this mission next. Let's take a look what our um, team is going to look like. So we got armor upgrades, wonderful, and people are ready. So we're going to go in with Wrath, Divert, Hayward, Sane. Magic Man is unfortunately tired. Shit happens. But we do have Hayward, so we don't need Magic Man. We're taking Boom Boom. Yeah, everyone. Like the entire A-team and maybe even Mystic. Who knows? Um, having that extra Templar, maybe just maybe we'll get him to a rank where it is. Okay, he has Parry, and Parry by itself is good. It's kind of a repeat, uh, reusable uh, Mimic Beacon. So there is an advantage to that. And the Templar fills a niche that others just do not uh, fail at the moment. Plus, since all of our weapons are absolute garbage, um, might as well find a way to prolong the fight. Okay, so this is it. <coughs> Still not seeing a way how we're going to do it in time. Uh, we're down to 25 days, uh, maybe a tiny bit more than that. Um, and we're just about, just close uh, to month end of June. Uh, to get to the portal, 
the portal would immediately uh, give us another shadow chamber um, project to just build up the shadow chamber essentially but it wouldn't do much else than that. Uh, then we need to still make contact to two other regions, do a mission, research ones, and then we can go to the final mission. And I think once we have made contact with Australia, where the um, uh, where the mission is, we're, we're probably out of time. So the last, effectively the last bit of research would just, just push us over the, uh, the, over the threshold, unless, I find a way to just speed up the process of making contact. I can just push ahead and theoretically make contact, but boy oh boy, those seven days just effed us. Uh, effed us really good, uh, so that was a problem. A bit of RNG coming together here, uh, but maybe, just maybe we can pull it off. So thank you for watching guys, I enjoyed it as always, and see you in the next run. Bye bye.